Hi guys, Frostfang here and welcome back once again, of course, to another Paladins video. We are going to be playing some Ruckus today for two separate reasons. The main one being he does have a new skin, which is called Pirate's Treasure. Forgot the name of it for a second there. And also a Ocean's Technically 2, which is the one you get first. I think this is the one you get second, which is the one that matches with the Makoa skin, which I really like. Hope they do more matching skins in the future. But I actually kind of like the default one more because the color looks really, really good. This does look uh, a little bit bit phallus a little bit strange this thing he's got going on here especially with the weird female ruckus on the front i guess it's just a female goblin are they goblins i don't know i don't want to be offensive to my boy ruckus here and i did the overhaul for all of my alerts and stuff surprisingly i didn't change ruckus all that much i was expecting to do a couple tweaks to his loadouts and stuff but i really didn't change them very much i still have the one uh, based around the f and then the one based around the rockets and then the alternate version the rocket one is by far uh, the most common you've got crystal capacitors max level so you get them up as often as possible and you also have opulence and no chill i personally like no chill i know a lot of people don't rock it i like it but the heal one and the cooldown reduction is the one i see all the time i also see the damage reduction one a lot but i personally don't rock it because it's only three percent per level so i feel like i'm kind of throwing my levels away it is kind of nice at level three four and five i don't really rock it i could also rock at the ready for the ammo regen but i don't really feel like i need it i feel like these three are the most important for me giving us the heal the cooldown reduction and also the movement while we're firing so we're a little bit more mobile not a huge difference but it does make you not just like a sitting rock for free damage you can actually kind of juke a little bit this is exactly the same thing pretty much just with the f and then it has um, ammo regen because you can't actually reduce the cooldown of the f strangely i'm surprised they don't have a card for it they do have the damage reduction one which again i don't really rock but you could throw in there if you wanted to i just feel like for three percent a level it's not really worth it he did get a little bit of a gameplay change this patch but nothing uh, massive they just fiddled with his momentum after the f but saying that we did koga recently where they changed momentum on his right click and they actually changed a bunch of other small things as well which added him to him uh, feeling a lot better by being able to chain them easily easier together so maybe they'll be the same thing with this on ruckus i don't know i haven't played him since the patch came out but if you got the same sort of treatment as koga did then this should be a pretty significant uh, change and especially those of you guys that play ruckus based around his f i'm sure this will help you even if it isn't that big just because it's a nice little momentum buff to it my scheduling for videos in like the past week has been a complete mess i've still got a video out nearly every single day other than i think uh, one or two it's just been really really hard to time things because i have some videos that have like a sponsor thing in them that need to get approved others um, that don't and then i also have the borderlands thing going on thank you guys for all the support on that by the way i just finished recording episode two haven't put it together just yet but i finished recording it don't know if we'll do an episode three it will completely depend on how much support you guys drop on the series we've got king of the hill trade district as the map shouts to tjz 77 that is the Knesset. we also have a cassie and amani and a genos i need to remember to use a skin booster and pick the skin because i nearly forgot and there's like a couple seconds left there's still that bug where it tells you to buy the levels but it's fine we we grabbed it nearly messed that up to be honest ruckus vid frost i love you shout outs to the two of those guys we're up against strix Ying, Term, Ruckus, and Io. So Ruckus on both sides, and then they have an extra tank, a support, and then a damage, and another healer. Wait, they have two healers, two tanks. Yeah, sorry, I'm an idiot. This is King of the Hill. This might be a pain. All right, I guess we'll just go for Rocket Barrage and the standard rocket loadout to start off. I feel like that makes uh, the most sense. Liking the skin, though, you've got like a little compass in the middle. You've got like a little bobblehead freaking parrot there that actually moves when you do the inspect. That's a really, really nice touch. It doesn't clip through it. It actually like gets moved out of the way. That is really, really cool. Why don't more skins have stuff like that? You've got a little knife on the front there. The shots are basically the same. Rockets are a little bit different, I think, but this is a cool skin. I like this. You've got Bolt on the back of the ship. Nice. Guess we'll start off with Cauterize. Sure, I guess Cauterize or Wrecker would both uh, be fine. Oh my god, that was an aggressive start. Was not expecting them to be this close to it, but I guess we were about the same sort of distance. It seems like basically everything about the weapons and stuff has actually changed. The shots are actually even smaller than the normal uh, Ruckus ones. The shield is different. It's kind of like watery, and then uh, the rockets are changed too we nearly got rid of that yin can i get those rockets around the corner i'm just trying to kind of throw poke damage over here i'm gonna have a big damage stack considering how many rockets and just shots i've been firing out so far but it's not really easy for me to break through especially with term over there giving him a complete wall of immunity uh, with his q we'll throw out another set of rockets over there nice we'll throw out another set of rockets been basically just continuously holding fire and freaking rockets at that point so far this match it's been a very boring bit of gameplay so far me and this ruckus are just trading shots point is just up there i'm on the bottom which is not really an ideal place for me to be hello ying uh, there's rockets there's rockets and you are gone nice okay we just completely annihilated her this skin actually feels really good to use the rockets and the shots are actually a lot clearer than his default ones so i'm finding it quite straightforward to understand what's going on with ruckus it doesn't feel as messy should we go for the alt play we can go for the alt play oh he's going for the alt play too okay we out ulted him freaking io just ulted as well terms thing wore off there's rockets didn't deal damage with those for some reason he is dead here though i'm pretty sure nice okay that ruckus tried to counter ult or we might 
to just about win it. Rockets for her. Sick. I'll take the double kill. There's my shield. We've still got basically full ammo here. Can we finish her off? Here we go. Nice. She's dead. Well, I didn't get that kill, but she is gone. There's rockets for him as well. I'm dead to streaks. That's kind of what I get for playing aggressively. We'll get a little bit more record too. I actually made a decent play there, although for some reason it seems like our Cassie isn't getting a loadout or items. I don't think she's here. My guess would be that she's a bot right now, which kind of sucks. We've got Wrecker too, so I do kind of go through a Ruckus's shield pretty fast. There's more rockets, which I missed. There's more rockets again. Term is actually the biggest issue right now. He's not even playing that well. He just exists and plops his Q up, and then I can't do anything about it. We're getting kind of shredded so far. Not because we're playing badly. We just don't really have a Cassie, so we're getting uh, kind of screwed. He's going to ult. I can just hide here. There's some rockets for you. Nice. I have to wait a couple seconds so I can do that again. Let's dash in. Maybe we can finish him off here. I've only got caught two, not max, so I don't think I can go through him. There's some more rockets, though. I'm going to have a really good damage stat. This is going to be a loss for sure because we're 4v5, but I'm at least going to finish with a really good stat. Get some more hits on his little toesies there. There's some hits. Let's dash in maybe and fire under him. He's totally gone here. There we go. Nice. Free double. I've got a really itchy nose, so my eyes are watering. i got a double, though. Maybe we can actually maybe we can actually recover this game. Even though we are 4v5, we're doing a pretty good job. Just going to keep getting hits on him. We'll turn over to the Ying for a sec. She's gone. Nice one, team. I don't really know what you're trying to do here, Term, because you are uh, dead any second. There's rockets. Nice. Oh, he's still up somehow. He's got his ult ready. I am totally dead. Can I kill this Strix? I think I can. Oh, he's solo. Rockets. There we go. Nice. Okay. Where's that Ying gone to? I actually don't know. I thought I just heard a Mave ult, but I think I'm imagining sounds because there definitely isn't a Mave in this game. They're legit just standing on the point getting free points. Whenever they're not in a fight, they're just standing kind of looking at the ground because this is a really free game for them. Maybe I can kill the IO. I don't know. Am I going to go for an ult play here? I feel like that would be a, a dumb move. Don't know why she just ulted me. Just kind of waiting for the point to move and then we can maybe get some points because we do still stand a chance of winning it. We are not playing badly. The four of us that are here are playing fine. I think we can probably get rid of this turn because he's stuck in between two people. There we go. Is he going to ult? Yes, he is. Can I get around the corner? Yes, I can. Hello, I see you. You are dead. There's no way he's going to live here. We can just maul through him. Okay, I said we stand a chance. Didn't realize we were this far behind. I'm going to go ahead and pull up the ult. Let's get rid of enemy ruckus. Let's pull up the shield. Let's get rid of Io as well. She's going to go off the map. I'm pretty sure. Nice, we got her off. Okay, there's another bit of rocket. I'm just dead. Bit of rocket, like the actual spice. Nice. Or well, the herb is rocket a spice or a herb it's a herb i'm an idiot they're gonna win they're gonna triple our score we don't really stand a chance king of the hill is a very team based thing and we don't really have a full team so we're kind of destined to lose especially with the team comp we're up against it's even uh, worse for us let's get rid of this term any sec his shield's down i'm pretty sure so he's just a uh, goner nice i'll take a free double don't know what i was doing i'm gonna get a triple here aren't i oh i'm stunned okay unofficial triple i think that's the second time that's happened let's get rid of ying even though we've got a loss this has been really fun the fact that the compass actually moves as well when you're moving around is sick i don't know why this skin has so much detail like usually i think i'd rate a skin like a 7 out of 10 for like detail sometimes even a little bit less this one is like a 9 or a 10 for detail they've really put a lot of attention into this and i think that's really really cool i hope they do more stuff like this oh i'm totally dead any second here i'm just trying to hold this point but I i'm a goner maybe i can get rid of this turn before i'm out oh there we go he's so close to being gone does nobody want to hit him considering i was looking at his front there nobody wanted to get rid of him i'm just dead to ruckus can't really do anything against that i'm just gonna get more haven the game's over anyway this match is done yep this match is over cassie has now picked a load and items which makes me think that she wasn't playing for most of that i think she was disconnected for the large majority of that game and came back right at the end but still i actually had fun uh, playing ruckus term is the man with top play they didn't really play all that well they kind of just had a better team comp and also a full team so they were just basically getting the auto win there but terms top play is him effing in he gets rid of the amani gets an assist on me he gets a free kill on genos free kill on Knesset. is that legit the top play him doing like a thousand and a bit damage okay sure <laughs> well, there you go. There are the stats for the game. I accidentally tabbed out, so I'm showing you here on the, the match history. We have a pretty damn good stat. 14,712k. We have like 40k over everybody. That's good enough for me. We may have lost the match, but I definitely put up a good fight. Akinessa did okay. Amani did all right. Genos did all right. Cassie, I was disconnected for most of that. She actually said in the lobby that she's back, and I, and I missed it, but it was in the lobby um, a second ago, and she went 0, 18, 6k. She was only back right at the end of the game. That was the reason we lost. I reckon their team comp was also pretty good, but Ying did okay. Term didn't really really do all that much tricks did pretty decent i suppose and i guess io and ruckus did all right too none of them really played badly i think the match really speaks for itself i don't think there's much post commentary i need to add for that but let's just go ahead and hit join queue if it'll let me massive delay but instant queue warders gate not a bad map we'll use a skin booster again and we'll go ahead and grab pirate's treasure although it's delayed for some reason there we go honestly i'm quite impressed with this skin i'm getting the same sort of feeling i got with the ying one it just felt a really really well put together and a little bit above some of the other skins they published 
um, in the past. And I hope they continue that trend because the Ying one was really, really good. I think this one is great as well. They've put so much detail into the actual thing uh, you see on the front, as well as the fact that Ruckus has a literal ginger pirate beard. It's just great. Shout outs to DZ Tabadizi. That is Zim. We also have a Knesset, a Grok, and a Drogos. We're up against a BKIO, Zin, Furia, and Khan. Let's go ahead and grab Rocket Barrage again. And I guess we'll just go for the same loader. It's just standard Ruckus here, really. Didn't really notice the momentum change that much. It's definitely not as noticeable as the Koga one, but I feel like it's because the Koga one gives you immunity. It does feel a little bit more fluid. I do feel like it carries a little bit, but it doesn't feel like it's slowing me down as much as it usually does. I feel like it's a pretty nice change, although uh, not as big as the Koga one. It's still pretty noticeable, though, and I, I would say it's it's kind of nice. Let's get some shots over there on BK. You guys like rockets because we, we got rockets. I'm just going to leave real quick, or maybe, maybe we shouldn't. Maybe we should go in and try and get rid of him. There's a ton of damage of his in. He's already out. That stun's going to hit me square in the head because I can't dodge it in time because I'm small brain. Hello, Khan. He is gone any second. Rockets for him. There we go. Nice. We can probably get rid of this IO as well. I don't think I can chain the dashes together because it still seems like they have internal timer on it, but that that's fine. Don't feel like it's something you need to have on Ruckers. Don't think you need to chain it as much as you do uh, with Koga, but it is a nice little noticeable change. Just nothing massive. Don't know if Zin is actually here because he's running in a straight line. I think Zin might have actually DC'd after that first fight. It seemed like he was playing right at the start because he was with the team and stuff, and surely he would have taken this path if he was a bot. He either DC'd after the first fight, he was never here in the first place. I guess it doesn't really matter, but there goes uh, the enemy Fury. Ruckus feels pretty damn good to play at the moment. I feel like this skin does a really good job of making his stuff feel like his actual damage output on them. Like his shots feel really small and like little needles, and then his rockets feel like pretty decent, hefty explosions. I, I like it. This one's taken me by surprise just as much as the Ying one did, really, even though I probably should have expected it. But I guess this one is like one of the first ones you unlocked, so I had a little bit of a lower expectation. I should also show off the IO one and uh, the Mave one. If you guys want to see those, I guess let me know. Let's get rid of him. There we go. Pull up the shield and retreat a little bit. Is he going left or is he going right? I guess I can just hold fire to deter him from that direction. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and ult here. Furia ulted. I'm going to ult. She can't stun me. I'm going to take damage from that beam though, but we are going to get rid of two of them. We got a little bit of damage over on the person at the back as well, who I think was IO. I think we might actually make this push. Let's get more Wrecker and a little bit of Cauterize. Thought we stood a chance at making the push, but I don't know if we're even going to be able to actually get overtime on it. Maybe we are. If I didn't die, we probably could have uh, made it a lot easier, but I'm here now, so I guess that's what matters. Maybe. Let's get rid of this Zin. There we go. Nice. Let's get rid of the Khan. I just hit into a pillar, but he's still going to die, I think. I think we can still kill him. There we go. Nice. Let's get rid of BK as well. I'm going to make sure that overtime doesn't stop. Push successful. Nice. Even though I made a dumb play earlier, we still got it. Knessa went ham in the feed there as well. That was a, a three-man she had going on. Let's get a little bit of life rip and I guess a little bit of rejuvenate, maybe? No? I don't think I need it. He's not really going for heals. He's going for damage, so we won't get it. Let's go see if we can get a 4-0. It's been five minutes already, so I don't think we'll get an under 10 minutes if we do, but we can definitely try just I guess hold fire over here nobody going for it okay I guess they're all going right side yeah they're all going right side okay sure I guess I can stand on this the Zin still isn't here so we can get a free kill on him bomb king going for an ult I'm a dash this way and try and run away oh he's just here I'm stunned I might die or maybe not no I think I actually might be fine yeah he's gone there we go thank you Drogos for uh, saving my ass let's get rid of this IO she's gone don't even have to deal with Luna if IO is out uh, there's shots for you I'm somehow still alive thank you for the heals there Grok oh let's dodge out of the way of that that could have actually killed me because it stops when it lands on me she's gone as well nice this zin is dead any second don't really know why the bot thinks that that's a good idea my shot's actually kind of clipping through this pillar that's kind of funny i wonder why it works like that it doesn't seem like it actually fires out of the right cylinder because it's not getting caught that's actually weird it doesn't work like most of the other projectiles in the game it doesn't seem like it can actually clip can it clip on the left side i need to actually check if it can clip on the left side because it can't clip on the right yeah it seems like it also doesn't clip on the left side that's kind of interesting oh i'm being calm grabbed oh maybe they can kill him before i'm dead oh i'm actually still on here can't i don't really know what you were trying to do with that i guess the ceiling on that left area is um, pretty damn close uh, fury is ulting agrok ulted i'm gonna ult too let's get rid of khan instead of zin or maybe we can get rid of io back there uh, i guess we can get rid of neither of them we did kill fury and i'm still alive so i guess that's good i'm just going for the under 10 minutes if we can get that that would be sick there goes fury bomb king is already out let's just get rid of khan he's just gonna straight hit her thought he was gonna hit luna there but luckily he didn't i don't know why the payload's being contested uh, luna is miles away from it, but sure, what the hell was the IO? That was a complete failure. Can we kill Zin? Yes, she's still up. Nice, I just saved her life. Let's get rid of BK as well. Any second, I'm gonna rush in on him. He's just gone. There's the dash out of the way of the stun. I can go through that because I have tons of Wrecker. He's dead any second. He pulled up the immunity. They're just dragging out this loss. We're gonna get it under 10 minutes. There's no way they're saving this. There we go. Victory. Nice. Why is Luna able to hold the point at such a range, by the way? Because that was payload contesting there, but she was really, really far 
far away from it. Either way, that's 4-0 at like 8 minutes. I think Knessa is the gal with top play. Set of strange matches today for sure. I do say that a lot, but uh, we did have a really, really weird set of games today. But Knessa has top play. I think it is the triple she got at the end where she got rid of Zin. She got a really nice headshot on the IO. She got stunned there and then she gets rid of uh, BK with another headshot and gets rid of, I think, the Furia. I think she got three there or maybe four. I actually don't know. Well, there you go. There's game two. I did basically the same thing I did in the first one, except a little bit better. We went 11 to 52k. We still had top damage, which I'm really happy about. We also shielded for a decent amount. Akinesa did really well. 11 350k. She was matching us. Same with the Drogas. All three of us were on the same sort of things in. Did okay, but was a little bit under on the damage side of things. And Grok was also a little bit under, considering he was playing damage Grok, but I guess they weren't grouped all that much. On their side, Furia, Khan, and Io all did about the same thing, although Io has pretty decent healing. Uh, the Bomb King did pretty decent as well on damage. And their Zin was a bot for, I think, every play other than right at the start, but uh, maybe I'm wrong. And he actually doesn't have that bad of a damage number. It's only like 7k under Azin, and only a little bit under these two guys. So he actually didn't do too bad as a bot there. There you go. That was Ruckus with his small change, the rocket loadouts, and his new skin. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. I certainly have. Pretty relaxed, considering the first game was basically unwinnable, and the second one was basically unlosable, I suppose. Does that word even make sense? I, I don't know. But thank you for watching. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Let me know, of course, what you want to see me do next. Drop some love on the videos if you've been enjoying them. I've really been enjoying making them lately. I'll see you all really, really soon. And as always, I, I feel like I messed up my outro, but I'm, I'm fine. I'm doing this. I'm just leaving this one in. I'll see you all really soon. As always, stay frosty.